Hi, I'm Dave Zarco with USA Badminton, and I'm here at Don Shula's Athletic Club in Miami Lakes, Florida. Let's talk about what equipment is needed for badminton. First, you'll obviously need a racket. Second, you'll need a shuttlecock. That's the object that you're striking. It's also known as the birdie. And then, obviously, you have to have a net that you play where you're hitting the shots over. The shot must go over the net. Then, a good pair of badminton shoes wouldn't hurt either. And you would wear what you would wear for tennis. Nice, comfortable shirt, comfortable shorts. Other than that, anything else like wristbands or, you know, uh, if you want to wear sweatpants, that's fine too. But most of the equipment that you're going to need for badminton will be the racket, the shuttlecock, and the net, and the poles to hold the net up. Now, other than that, you know, you just need another partner to hit with. Now, one of the reasons that badminton is so popular is a term called instant mediocrity. You can immediately go out there, pick up a racket, and you can start to have a rally with someone of the same level, skill level, and you get a great workout. And you're able to go from, from offensive to defensive within the span of one shot. You don't need to really take that many lessons to learn how to play badminton. You just need to have hand-eye coordination. And to develop the hand-eye coordination, it's not that hard either. You start by bouncing the shuttle on the racket. And if you can do it at least 10 times in a row, you should be able to hit that shuttle after a while and have a, a good long rally. One of the other reasons that badminton is so popular, there is a lot of chess involved, even at the lower levels, even the C and D levels. Whereas you can make a drop shot in badminton where you cannot do it in other sports.